In this video, I'm going to be giving you the complete Zircon Scale Camo Guide for all of the Assault Rifles in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. This video will touch on every single camo challenge for the Assault Rifles and the best strategies to complete each of them in the fastest possible manner. If you enjoy this video and you use it to help you unlock the Zircon Scale Camo on each of your Assault Rifles, consider dropping a like and subscribe if you're new. So Zircon Scale is the Diamond Camo for Zombies this year, and in order to unlock it on all of your Assault Rifles, you'll have to complete the Golden Enigma Camo Challenge on each of the six Assault Rifles, as well as the Zircon Scale Camo Challenge itself. This can be pretty time consuming of course, as you'll have to level up each of the weapons to max rank to be able to complete each of the individual weapon challenges challenges to unlock Golden Enigma. I would suggest weapon leveling your guns alongside completing some of the challenges to save yourself some time. Also, if you're having trouble leveling up, stand by an exfil site and repeatedly call for evac, but don't actually get on the chopper. This will cause an unbelievably stupid amount of zombies to spawn in while the helicopter approaches. After the helicopter flies away, you'll have a 60 second cooldown before you can exfil again. Literally just repeat this until the end of the game and you'll have the gun pretty much maxed out. Now let's get into the guns themselves and their individual challenges. The first gun up is going to be the SVA 545, and this can be unlocked when you hit level 4. The first challenge for the SVA is called Wayward, and you can begin working on this challenge when your weapon reaches level 2. The challenge for Wayward is to get 250 kills in the Zombies mode. This will always be the first challenge on the first camo you unlock on each gun across the game, and it's obviously the easiest. 250 kills are super easy to come by, so I don't have to explain this one very much. The second camo challenge is called Topo Gast, and will unlock when the weapon reaches level 13. The challenge is to get 5 kills without releasing the trigger of the gun 20 different times. I would head to an exfil area for this one because you'll realistically get it done in about 5 minutes. The third camo child for the SVA is named Sludge, and will unlock at weapon level 20. This will require you to get 250 kills inside of a medium or high threat zone. This one can be a little bit challenging, so I would suggest trying to find a 2 plate vest, getting juggernaug, and pack a punching your weapon at least once before you head into the tier 2 zone. Or higher. To get this one done as quickly as possible, go after the escort contracts because it will constantly spawn zombies. The last standard challenge unlocks at weapon level 30 and is called Chaos. This one's super easy, all you have to do is get 250 kills while 4 perks are active, so just run around, do some contracts, and make your way to 4 perk machines across the map. You might even get a perk can or two from your challenges to help reduce the time of this one. After all 4 of your standard camo challenges are done, you'll gain access to the Golden Enigma challenge. This one is super easy but can be a bit buggy, but all you have to do is get 100 kills with the weapon and then successfully exfil. Some of the guns allowed me to do this challenge after completing the fourth standard camo challenge, but some didn't, so if you exfil and it didn't work, just try it again and it should work the second time. The second gun in the assault rifle category is the MTZ-556, which can be unlocked when you reach level 12. The first camo for the MTZ-556 is called Astray, and again it's the same as the first challenge for the SVA and every other gun in the game, which is to get 250 kills and unlocks at weapon level 2. From this point on, I won't explain this challenge any further than just saying it's camo name on different guns and to get 250 kills. The second camo challenge for the MTZ is called Merc Glitch, which unlocks at weapon level 12 and will require you to get 250 kills with 5 attachments equipped. Super self-explanatory, and by the time you unlock this challenge, you'll have 5 weapon attachment slots unlocked as well. The third challenge is called New Strain and unlocks at weapon level 17. This one is a repeat much like many of the other challenges and will require you to get 250 kills with 4 perks active. The last camo challenge in the standards is called Mud and unlocks when the gun hits max level 26. This one is to get 20 consecutive kills without taking damage 10 times. This is another one you'll want to head to the expel site for, so run some zombies into a horde and then just unload and you should get this done in one or two hordes. The mastery challenge is here again with Golden Enigma where you have to get 100 kills in exfil. The third gun on our list is the Holger 556 and unlocks at level 37. The first camo is called Subterranean and again get 250 kills with the gun. The second camo is called Topo Gloom which unlocks at level 10. This is to get 10 kills in 5 seconds 10 different times. This one Again, I would recommend going to an exfil site to get done as quickly as possible. Seeing a theme here yet with the exfil sites or nah? The third camo up is named Pallet Cyst and unlocks when the weapon hits level 16. This one requires you to get 250 kills while Tax Stance is active. All you have to do for this is to put your gun in Tax Stance mode, which is where your character turns your gun sideways. On console, I think it's a D-pad button, and on PC, you want to aim down and press the melee key at the same time. The fourth and final normal camo for this assault rifle is called Caustic River, which unlocks at max weapon level 24. This is super easy, all you have to do is get 200 critical kills. Once all four are done, you can move on to Golden Enigma. At the halfway point now for our assault rifles, this one's called the MCW and unlocks at level 44. The first camo you'll unlock for this one is your Vern, and again, it's just get 250 kills. The second camo unlocks at weapon level 12 and is called Vehement Rage. For this one, get 10 kills in 5 seconds, 10 times. I would recommend running to the Exfil site again for this one. The third one is called Tempest Shards, unlocking at MCW level 19. 
Honestly, I love this one. I think it's the best base cam out of all the ARs, and to get it, all you have to do is get 250 hip fire kills. Are you getting sick of those exfil sites yet? Because I am. The last camo for the MCW is called Toxic Spots and unlocks at weapon rank level 28. A pretty different one here, you'll have to get 5 mimic kills. This is probably the hardest camo challenge because of how hard it is to find mimics in tier 1, but here's the trick. Go to an infected stronghold and a mimic will always spawn at least once while you're clearing them out. You'll have to find about 4 or 5 of these in order to complete the challenge, but it's better than just running around zone 2 like an idiot like I was. Once the main ones are done, you can again complete Golden Enigma. The fifth AR up is the DG58 and unlocks at level 25. If you're past level 25 and don't have this weapon unlocked, it might actually be a daily contract weapon, which means you'll have to activate this in the daily contracts part of the menu and then do some challenges to unlock it. The first camo for the DG58 is the Typhoon camo. 250 kills up, 250 kills down, and it's yours. The second camo is called Hysteria, and the challenge unlocks at weapon level 11. Another challenge where you have to get 10 kills in 5 seconds 10 times. Exfil zone again. The third camo is titled Hallowed Glitch, and the challenge unlocks when the gun hits level 17. This one requires you to get 100 kills while the zombies are affected by your tactical grenades. For this one I use decoys in the exfil area. Equip them in your loadout prior to the game or you can search buildings with crates in them to find some. The last standard camo challenge for the DG is called Petrified and unlocks at max weapon level 25. Get yourself 250 critical kills and you're good to go buddy. With all four of these complete, you can go after Golden Enigma. The last assault rifle on this list is my personal favorite. This seriously might be the best AR in zombies and it's called the FR 5.56. This is the hardest one to get gold because you'll have to complete a daily challenge to unlock it because it doesn't unlock at a certain level. If you have a friend that has it and you don't want to do the challenges for it, have them drop it for you in zombies and then exfil with it and it'll unlock across the game. Big shout out to FaZe Fulon for hooking me up on this one and saving me for my own rage. The first camo for the FR is called Puncture. Yet again, 250 kills for this one. The second camo is actually bugged and many of you might be looking for this one. It's called Digital Wildwood and unlocks at weapon level 8. The description for the challenge says to get 300 kills with the platinum camo, but there isn't actually a platinum camo in the game. At least not for the MW3 guns. I just pack a punch the gun and it works, so get your pack camo on it and you should be good to go. And I've also read that you can equip any camo for this that's in the menu and it'll work, so just try the pack a punch one first and you'll get it for sure and maybe try a normal camo if you don't want to pack a punch. The third camo is Unseen Ravenger and unlocks at weapon level 13. You'll have to get 30 cal you'll have to get 30 Hellhound kills for this one. I would suggest doing a safe cracker contract or two to get this one done quickly because it spawns a bunch of Hellhounds. And the last camo challenge up is called Anomaly, which unlocks at weapon level 19. Super easy, it's just 200 hip fire kills. When all four of your standard challenges are done, you can move on to the Gold Enigma challenge. Alright, you've put the time in, unlocked the guns, and gotten Golden Enigma on each of the assault rifles. Now you can move on to Zircon Scale. The Zircon Scale challenge will require you to get 300 kills when the weapon is pack-a-punched. Honestly, a super easy challenge if you have any of the Ethereum Crystal stash, because you can just run straight to the Exfil site when you load in, but if you don't have any of these, then you're probably going to have to do a few challenges, pack-a-punch, and then head for the Exfil area. The camo will unlock on each weapon individually when you complete them, so you don't have to complete all of the weapons if you're just looking to get this on a specific gun, but they will be required for both the Serpent of Night and Borealis camo challenges. So that's the super easy, super special, crazy fun time guide for unlocking the Zircon scale camo for all of the assault rifles inside of MW3 Zombies. If you've enjoyed this video and it helped you get any of the camos, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe. I'll be doing one of these for each of the weapon classes, so stay locked to the channel. Have a good day and stay safe.